I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I, you know, and I appreciate that, Kathy. Um, but some things I, I, I just, you know, I, I've been through so much and I'm at the point where I, um, I put up with so much and I put up with too much actually. And I refuse to allow another, um, just little asshole, excuse my French, but I'm a Christian. Um, I'm not the best, you know, practicing Christian, um, woman. Um, but that is my roots. <clears throat> excuse me. So sorry. I just had to talk. Sorry. Um, so I just, um, Oh man, I, I, you know, I, I, I can't even talk right now. It's just like amazing how, you know, it's just always that one. And you know, what's sad, honestly, um, Stephen is that you seem to be quite a, I guess somewhere deep, 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 deep down inside, like very deep. Um, you seem to have a good character, although I don't know what the hell. Um, it is you're trying to stir up here, um, especially with me, why you continuously try to, um, I, I mean, I don't know if it's your little retarded way of trying to get attention, um, which is kind of sad, really, that you would have to get attention like this in that in that um, manner or fashion. But you're very, um, in my own opinion, you know, because we all just have opinions, um, I really don't have to sit here and, and improve myself, you know what I'm saying? And I did. And honestly, I really don't, though, because my work speaks for itself. And as work mean, I mean the people in the, what do you want to call the so-called movement, you know? I'm not claiming to be like, you know, I'm not, and I have nothing bad to say about anybody, even the people that have been spoken bad about. Whatever they have done, that's, you know, God, God is the only judge. And that's where I'm going to leave that. But I, and I'm, I just, I don't understand. Like, regardless of what um, anybody says, if you know me, you know me. At the end of the day, my whole purpose and why I think I've even been put on this horrible planet, um, which is not all horrible. Like I said, even, even, you know, with you, um, it, um, sorry, I just I just don't even know where to begin on this, but I just wanted to clarify things and say that um, I wish and I hope the best for you. I hope you get well. Um, excuse me. I hope you can strengthen your social skills or somehow um, learn how to talk to people or even just have a civilized conversation and and, and talk like a you know civilized human being, so to speak. Um, I am a former, former foster child from birth up until my 18th birthday. And I take it very personal when someone comes at me, especially regarding the, um, you know, what I, what I stand for, what I do, what, what this all has cost me and what has done to me and my family my, or the family I should have, you know, um, the father of my children and we've been together for 10 plus years going on 11 but and I met him without I didn't have any kids when I met him when I was 22 yeah I was 22 years old I'm 33 now um it's just it's disgusting what what's been done and it's not only done to me but others as well and to hear and know other people's testimonies and my I mean my t testimony goes deeper a little bit deeper than my children you know so I have a really huge story and it's, it's very um you know, it takes a lot of guts for somebody to come out with, with what they've been through, especially with, a, you know, stories such as mine. All my children were newborns uh, when they were taken. So, and I've only gotten one back and then she got stolen again. And that's a whole nother, that's, uh, I have basically, aside from myself, there's like, well, including me, it's like six different stories, you know, so. And then my sisters were also taken as well. And they are the ones who have helped CPS um, go against me. So, <clears throat> and I raised them. So it's just, and my mom's in prison and she gets out next year, thank God, finally. But my mom's been in prison for life, so, since I was nine. Um, but hey, boo-hoo, well, you know, sad story. Um, my quest in this whole journey is to just reunite children and, and make, not just make a difference, but to make 
it right again or just right in general and i'm just tired of just this chaos and nasty and just horrible just, just disgusting way that people have allowed it to become and i i'm very i i'm i'm appalled and i'm um ashamed that i'm a part of a country who's allowed this and it's still going on so with that being said um if you have any further questions um you all i mean um particularly this message is towards uh, mr steven i forgot your last name i believe you've spoken a few times that's why i say i i believe you know you have somewhat of a, a good heart uh, and i and i do trust me i i know what it's like to just allow you know the corruption of uh, uh, cloud your uh, you know just be foggy and 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 not be able to think right or, or, or look at things correctly and, and and question everything, you know. But I I I don't know. I I can't continue to live like that in that way. And I haven't. I, I mean, I'm not fully, you know, healed and, and stuff. But I'm I'm getting there. Um, I try my best to um, treat humans humanely, you know, like humanely and 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 with empathy and that's just me naturally but please do not come at me like i'm some weirdo or something because i don't know what you're trying to start because i've i myself have never gotten myself into any type of or dabbled in anything like that so you're talking to the wrong one um so i i, I gave you what you wanted you wanted to know if i was real i am real obviously um uh that's about it Hope everyone has a beautiful and blessed night. Take care. Talk to you guys soon.